If you've seen any screenshot from a modded Skyrim game, you're gonna notice the characters look beautiful. And you may be thinking to yourself, how can I make my character look like that? Well, let's make your character look like that. The first mod you're gonna need is the Race Menu mod. What this mod does is it overhauls the character creation menu and it allows you to fine tune how your character looks. So checking the requirements, this mod does not have any known dependencies. So we are good to go to download it. Let's download this guy right here. Alrighty, so it's right here. We're gonna activate it. And the next mod we're gonna need is a body replacer. If you intend to play a female character, you're gonna need this mod. The vanilla body is pretty low poly and flat. This mod will give your character's bodies a lot of curves. Let's check out the requirements. Okay, no dependencies. Let's download it. At any given mod download page, you're gonna see a lot of files to download. If you're a beginner, don't worry about any of these optional files. Just download the main file right here. Let's go ahead and activate it. From time to time when installing mods, windows like this will pop up sometimes to give you options. In this case, we're gonna go with Slim. We're gonna go with Dirt to Beauty Marks. And let's go with Thin and Trim Browse. And let's click Next. Since we already have Race Menu, I'm gonna choose all of these more files. Next, we're gonna need some nice hair for our character, right? And the most popular hair mod is called KS Hairdos. So let's see the requirements. All right, no requirements. We can go ahead and download it. I'm gonna go ahead and download the whole package. It's a big old file, so this is gonna be a while. While we wait for the hair to finish downloading, let's boot up the game and see what we got so far. All right, so I just started a new game. And this is what the new character customization looks like. This is what race menus look like. We have different categories here. This is everything. This is the race. So we'll go with the Nord body male or female if you're playing skyrim and you're playing male you're not gonna have a lot of mods so let's switch to female ah look at the face and yeah, let's do a different preset here maybe we'll go with that one so as you can see you can modify and customize your character to your heart's content but what if you don't want to create your own character maybe you're not very good at it or maybe somebody else's character is just better looking than yours. Well, the good news is there are presets for that and they're over here. So I would say let's go ahead and download some presets so we don't have to worry about creating our own character. All right, looks like our hair mod is completed. So let's go ahead and activate it. And remember what I said about character presets? Here, there's a category for it. And you can access this page anytime by going up to mods. Go to mod categories, scroll down to character presets. <laughs> so for kicks and giggles, we're going to use the Belle Delphine race menu preset. So let's click on that. <laughs> this is just so funny. <laughs> of course it exists, right? Let's scroll down to see if there are any requirements. So for Nexus requirements, we get the expressive face gen morphs. Expressive facial animation, female edition, okay. Offside requirement, we got a high poly head, also heart requirement. So we're gonna need all of these mods for the Belle Delphine character preset to work. So what we're gonna do is just right click and open new tab for each of these mods. All right, so let's go to each of these guys and download them. Okay, let's see if there's any requirements here race menu so we already have that let's download it all right the next one is the expression facial animation let's check out the requirement okay so this one requires the fair skin complexion mod and this mod here uses the teeth texture of this mod so we're gonna also go ahead and get that plus it's also a good mod i think this is probably the best skin mod that you can get so we're gonna right click open a new tab and this is the thing about modding Skyrim you can really go down the rabbit hole because of all the requirements right it's kind of like a domino effect if you want this mod you gotta have this and this and this and then sooner or later you're gonna have a hundred mods so we're gonna download this mod as well 
but before we forget let's download this guy and now we're gonna download its requirement which is the fair skin complexion mod and of course we also have to check the requirement for this guy body slide outfit studio okay so it's an optional requirement now under main files you get a couple of options CBBE is what we have. There's another body mod called UNP, which isn't used as often. So we're going to stick with CBBE, okay? Let's download it. And now we are on to the high poly head offsite requirement. So this is the vector plexus site. You can see the difference between the vanilla head versus the high poly head here. It's just a lot more well rounded and a lot smoother. And this mod's got its own requirements as well. Okay, so it requires race menu, expressive face gen morphs, which we just downloaded, and then the expressive facial animation female editions, which we already have as well. And to download this mod, you gotta have an account to this website. You do this at your own risk. Usually I use a throwaway email account and a password I don't use very often. After you've created an account and logged in, you can now download this file from the mod page. If you get lost, you can just go to the Belle Delphine mod page and then right click, open new tab, and then you can access this mod page again. So we're going to go ahead and download this file. There's a lot of files here, so let's see. This is the file we want. It's a special edition version 1.4. Since this is an off-site mod, so we're going to have to install this manually. Let's open it up to see what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is a full mod. Pretty much what full mod is, it's going to be a mod that will give you options to choose from. I like these kind of mods a lot because there's a lot of customizations that you can do. Alright, so let's go ahead and close it up. To install this manually, we're going to click on it and drag it onto the Nexus Mod Manager program in the background. It says that high poly head has been added. Check this out. So it's right here. Alrighty, let's go ahead and activate these mods. So the fair skin complexion mod is also a full mod. We're gonna just go with the defaults. Makeup tweaks, okay. Let's click it all. Sweet. Confirm override. So whenever you see this window here, what it means is that there's another mod, in this case is CBBE, that is already using this texture. You see that? And the fair skin complexion mod is a texture mod. So it wants to overwrite what's already being used by CBBE. So for our purposes, we're going to click yes to mod. And here is telling us that the expressive face gen morphs is already using this asset right here, using this mouth asset. And because we do want to use this mod and not have it overridden, we're going to go no to mod. Now let's move on to the high poly head mod. Just go down the list here to see what we have. We have the special edition. We know that we just downloaded and activated this, so let's click on that. Facial animations, we have the female version. And we're going to leave everything as is. Let's click finish. Now with all of this out of the way, we can finally download our Belt Delphine Race Menu preset. So let's go to files. We're going to do an all-in-one. And here it is. Let's activate it. Before we boot up the game, let's sort our load order. Alright, click apply. Let's launch the game. Again, I've just created a new game and we are at the character creation menu. Let's go to race, stick with Nord, body, female. And then we're going to go over to the preset tab here. We're going to click on low preset or F9. As you can see, there's nothing here. Belle Delphi should be here, but it's not. Well, after digging around for a while, the problem turns out is race menu. The version that we have here hasn't been updated for Anniversary Edition yet. But the good news is, there is a test version of Race Menu that will work with Anniversary Edition. And I'm going to show you how to get it. Go to the Race Menu mod page. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there is a version that's not completed yet. But we can still test it out. To get it, right click on it and open in a new tab. And if you don't have an account, create an account and log in. And on this page, 
all you're gonna see is just supporter tiers where it costs you money to join. The good news is you don't have to join to download the test version. What you need to do is click on this little icon right here, this logo. Now it's gonna take you to a different page. And if you scroll down, there it is, right? So click on it to download it. Once you have it downloaded, just drag it onto our Nexus Mod Manager. Now what we need to do is upgrade this version to the newer one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, deactivate the mod, go to uninstall delete. I'm gonna uninstall from all profiles and you can delete this version if you want. Now let's click on the newer version and activate it. Let's run loot. All right, let's boot up the game to see if it works. So I've started a new game. Let's change the sex to female and go to presets. Let's load preset. And check that out. Here it is. Right, let's load this one. <laughs> she looks so terrible. So what you need to do next actually is go to scope. And then press F9 to import head. Alright, we're going to choose this one. Now the red items are the mods that we don't have. But it should still work. It's just that we probably won't have this hair right here. Press accept. Okay, this hair doesn't really match her. So let's go back to sliders. Let's go over the hair because we don't have the hair that it's expecting. So it looks kind of funny right now, but we can make her look a lot better by changing to a hair that we do have and then slide this all the way back to number one. So hover your mouse over the first line right here that says hair and then press either A or D to scroll back and forth. And on the lower right of the screen, you're going to see the name of the hair. If you go over to 59, was that that's old Becky I think this one looks kind of like her here so we'll go with this guy by loading a preset pretty much what you're doing here is loading all these settings here all of these settings that have been created to make our character look like this but oftentimes these settings are not enough that's why you need to go to scope and this is where we can import the sculpted head to really make her look like Belle Delphine as you can see, the final result looks pretty good. It looks really like her, especially the mouth. <laughs> Alright, so whenever you're done, click R and let's name her Belle. And here you go. This is the in-game character. And I'm going to have to say, it looks a lot like her. <laughs> the mod author did a very good job on this. And the last thing I'll say is you should probably bookmark this page because this mod probably will get updated frequently until it's completed. Just go through the same process that we did in this video to update your mod. And once this mod is completed and out of testing, the mod author expire will probably upload it to the mod page on Nexus. And of course, you can then download it from here. But until then, keep an eye out for his Patreon page. And that, my friends, is how you make your character look beautiful without really doing the hard work yourself. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe for more. Take care now.